this way. Shoe boxing is a combination of kickboxing and submissionary wrestling. Submissionary being that you get the opponent to submit against an arm lock or, or a shoulder lock, leg lock, choke out, head lock. Um, the rules are very simple. You're not allowed to punch the face because you're not wearing gloves. You're allowed to kick to the body. Back of the leg is real popular. Side of the body up into the head. If you hit the opponent with a kick to the head and knock him out, you get a standing eight count. Five standing eight counts in Japan is you're out. Another way to get a standing eight count is you use the ropes to your advantage. If a person has you in a submissionary hold and you can't get out of it and you can't reverse it, but you can reach for the ropes, then that will also um, break the hold and you'll have, uh, you get three of those and you get one um, submissionary, well, you get one takedown. All of this is being conducted now in Japan. As far as competitions are done in uh, the States right now, it's all done in Japan. Okay, doing the same one. That's it. You resist. Yeah. Okay, I started training in the martial arts about 68. I started in Chinese Kempo about in 1970. I've been training in Chinese Kempo. I train in uh, Sensei Goju and I train in uh, Shinobai Ninjutsu. Most of my background comes from the Chinese Kempo system, but in shoot fighting or shoot boxing, it doesn't matter if you're Taekwondo, Kempo, Shotokan, it's still basically like a whole different world. I like to teach more of the grappling part because most of the people that we've been teaching right now can kick and can punch. And what we do is the hardest thing is, is the actual floor work. So that's what I like to do is have them work the floor work so that they can do the move and then work it from standing up position. This way. I'm going to cross that way. Relax. This way. Tap me. Always tap me. Well, I like to uh, put it together where the student that buys the tape can actually learn from the tape rather than watching the match and saying, oh yeah, great, which I consider entertainment. We want to do it as a training tape where I can take the student from some warm-up exercises so that they won't get injured to some different kinds of falls and drops because you do use those, different kinds of kicks that we would use and start a basic class on, on teaching them through the movements and then progress going in one movement to the next movement, having the other person reverse it, going into his movement and so forth. So this way they can train with it. A couple of moves that you guys know when you have your opponent down. Just go down. There's several different ways. One is aggravate this. Another way, which he's pretty good at this one, is doing that and this. Taking the head this way. Same move. <laughs> Just get in the head, lock it. From this position, you got the arm, this arm, or you can take this arm, take it around this way. Same thing from the arm. He's resisting this. Resist, resist, resist. I can take this arm. Same way. 